Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne. A couple of weeks ago I did a live video of Build the Millennium Falcon. It's had quite a few views and I really appreciate all of those people who watched that. Also, all the people that are following that uh, series, I think we're up to issue 65 now. I am expecting the next four episodes of that to be coming in the next week. So we'll be doing another live uh, feed of that one as well. It was during that live feed that someone told me about D'Agostini doing a uh, Build Your Own R2-D2 and I was really pumped when I heard about that. In fact, I looked on the website and I did a video previously about you know how I'm going to subscribe to this. It was then that I found out that this was only a trial. Uh, they only issued about five issues to uh, people in the Lancashire area, I believe. And uh, it's unsure whether they're going to go ahead with it. And uh, Which let me down a bit and I thought, oh well, well, you know, there you go. Which makes things a bit stupid because today I received issue one of Build Your Own R2-D2. So now I'm completely, I don't know what's happening. Are we going to be getting this series? Are we not? I'm going to be treating it that we are and I'm going to start building it as if we are. There's nothing in what you see today that says this is only a trial. And there are some things that I've received today as well which make me think this isn't a trial. And I'll explain that a bit later. First of all, this is issue one. Uh, and it shows you what's in issue two and issue three there. Okay, uh, these are really glossy, unlike the Millennium Vulcan ones, which is really nice. Let me just show you some of the things that it tells you. It tells you about designing it. Just like the Millennium Vulcan, you've got the uh, how to build it. it. Tells you what parts come with each, each issue. And also, a lot of electrics in the first issue there as well. Look at that. Okay, now when this came, this came on this uh, massive, let's come back a bit, massive bit of uh, cardboard there. Okay, and in it you see uh, all the things that we're getting there. Uh, we've also got this, which I'll talk about in a second. And on the back it tells you more about what's going to be included in this Build Your Own R2-D2. Now this is where things differ from the trial, I believe. First of all, they're sending out how to subscribe to these um, R2-D2 series without missing an issue. This was a trial. I don't think they're going to be doing that. Plus, they're showing you all the free gifts that you get when you subscribe to the trial. Now, again, or subscribe to the actual main thing. Uh, if this was a trial, why would they be sending me out the free gifts? I received my first free gift, which is R2-D2 USB dongle. And this is an 8 gig dongle. And I've just tried it out, and it works absolutely perfect. And I'm really happy with it. So, uh I don't know. I'm going to treat it as if this is uh, a live build and, you know, it's going ahead. So, and if it doesn't, then uh, I'll put it on hold until they decide it will do. But a bit of a waste if uh, they bring all this out and we don't do it. Uh, we also get this Star Wars Build Your Own the Agostini. What comes in issue 2 or 3 again. The difference between this one, like the Millennium Vulcan, it's got a to scale poster there of what it's going to look like. Now this is obviously half scale, but it will it does pretty much everything that R2-D2 does. <laughs> so that's issue one that I showed you there. And we also received issue two, which looks like that. Pretty cool. And again, everything what's going on in the issues here. Now issue one was about $2.99. I believe issue two is $6.99. And then I think the regular price, as you can see here, is $8.99. So, um, yeah, let's have a look at uh, what this magazine holds as well. Uh, look, another thing here, look. Issue 2 on sale, the 2nd of March. Issue 3, the 9th of March. Issue 4, the 16th of March. Weekly thereafter. See, there's nothing on here that says it's a trial. They've even told me, like, issue 4, what's coming in issue 4? So I'm sure in my comments I'm going to get loads of people saying this is just a trial and after issue 5 it's going to stop and we've all received our letters for that and stuff like that. Well if it is I'm just happy to keep getting my freebies. Um, but this is build your own R2-D2. We have got the first two issues, issue 1 and issue 2. Let's start building. Okay, I think probably the first place to start is to open this up and uh, lay out the uh, items exactly as they tell me in the magazine here. So, let's see what we have got in part one. Right, the first thing is, 
Uh, number one, I believe, is this little bit here. Go on, getting these things out is going to be fun. There we go. Oh, look at all the bits. <laughs> okay. Right, so laying them out exactly as they put. The first bit there is the LED cluster for the processor state indicator. And that is uh, full of LEDs there. Hard to see, but there you go. Full of LEDs. So you got that. Does this look okay in the softbox light? Yeah, it does. Okay. Uh, second thing is, we've got the uh, LED cluster power lead, which is that. Uh, the third thing, we should have a couple of screws. A couple of screws. Uh, fourth thing, we should have a, a LED cluster mounting, which is this little bad boy. Uh, fifth thing, a processor state indicator faceplate, which is this thing. Uh, number six is the processor state indicator lens, which I believe is... Uh, Oh, no, which is this. Mm. Interesting. Oh, wait a minute, no. Which is that. <laughs> it's hard to see it, so it's clear. There we go. Uh, that The number seven was the sticker, diffuser sticker. Number eight is the primary photoreceptor faceplate, which is this. Number nine is the right shoulder plate, which is that. And number ten is a screwdriver right let's start building it tells you exactly where the parts fit so the first thing it wants me to do is uh, fit the LED cluster into its mounting it wants me to put this into this uh, it can only go in one way I believe which is that way just like that I'm well on my way to starting Build your own R2-D2. I think what I'm going to do is zoom the camera up. Okay. There we go. We've zoomed the camera up. So that's the first bit in just there. Uh, next thing, it wants me to use the screws here to uh, bolt them down of course the uh, hard thing I'm gonna have here is uh, figuring out a place to store this when I'm not building it because the Millennium Vulcan's taking up all the space at the moment there we go then we're gonna screw the first screw in screws are going in lovely it's the first one in, and the second screw. I apologise if this uh, seems a bit blurry or washed out. My white gain is a little bit high at the moment for this. Um, but you're going to get the idea in a minute because my hands are quite dark, so I don't want to wash myself out. But there we go. Right, next thing is uh, holding assembly uh, together, do not over tighten the screws or may crack the mounting. Well, we didn't do that, they've gone in absolutely perfect there. Okay, so the next thing they want me to do is to put the diffuser, peel the protective backing insert off the diffuser sticker. So there's a, a backing on this. Careful not to touch the sticky side. Line it up with the lens and press it carefully in place. Make sure you apply it to the flat side of the lens. I will do that. Okay. Perfect. Just like that. It's fit perfectly on there actually. Let me see. Okay. Right, take the processor state indicator lens and press it firmly into the hole in the blue faceplate. Okay, uh, that's going to be hard I think it does not need gluing it says no wonder this is going in very hard and there we go I believe that's all the way in so now we've got that see that bit there uh, fit the assembly from step 4 over the assembly for step 2 so what it wants me to do now is to put this on this here now it hasn't provided any more screws, so I don't think we'll be bolting this down yet. 
just like so. There we go. So we've got this uh, housing above that unit there. Uh, and the next thing is it wants me to plug in this adapter. I don't suppose it matters what end, because they've both got, uh, oh no, one's slightly smaller. So I've been a slightly smaller end that goes into this uh, fitting here. Can only go in one way. He says. I don't want to force it in because there's really fine pins. Uh, that is the way, I believe. Right, there we go. That's the power relay in. Very good. Uh, and believe it or not, that is issue one. Issue one is complete. And we've still got these other bits left over. Let's go on to issue two. Let's see what we've got to do with that. Now issue two again comes with, I'm gonna put these to one side and we'll get out what we got in issue two. There's issue two. <laughs> Let's take all these bits out. Uh, just like issue one, it is good to do a roll call of uh, exactly the parts they've sent you. Uh, and it helps you guys out as well if you are building this to see exactly what we're going to be given. Oh, this is a pain to open. There we go. Get this one out. Okay. And I'm going to lay these out. Right, first thing. The right outer leg plate. Number one. Uh, number two is lubrication fittings, which I don't know what they are, but you've got one and two lubrication fittings. Uh, i tell you what, you can't notice it on this. I've only just noticed it. Uh, they've already weathered this. Can you see a bit of weather in there? They've already weathered the leg. How cool is that? Perhaps they don't want you to paint it at the end of the day. Number three is the uh, stabilizer, which is... Uh, oh, stabilizer is this thing here. There's the stabilizer. Number four, we have got the hydraulic arm coupler. <laughs> they don't want to come out. Okay, number four is the hydraulic arm coupler. Number five is the hydraulic arm piston. And number six is the hydraulic arm shaft. There you go. Okay, what do we have to do in this one? Right, it wants me to collect parts one to six from this issue together with the right shoulder plate from issue one. We've got the right shoulder plate there, so we're going to need that too. Um, let's move this there so you can see it all. Okay, align the shoulder plate uh, nine with the top of the leg plate. So it wants me to put this, uh, let's make sure we're putting it the right way around, on top of this here. And I'm guessing we push it down, do we? Yep, clicks in. Again, no screws, so one more to get in. There we go. Lots of uh, clicking there. There you go, that's on. Okay, so that's that bit done. Uh, take the stabilizer free, which is this thing here. Uh, what way round does it go? No, that's the stabilizer, this thing here. Uh, making sure it's the right way around the scene of the photograph and press into the two small pins on the back of number three. So this is going to want to go in here, this way around. Done. I do like how it's all click. There's no, uh, there's no glue in at the moment. Take one of the lubrication fittings, one of these, and align it with the upper recess in number nine. Uh, making sure that the pin on the back matches the shape of the keyhole in the middle of the recess. Okay, so this has got like a little key thing there. It's got to be the same way round as that there. So, I'm guessing it's as easy as just... Uh, it's never going to be that easy, is it? Okay, that's one in. And the second one. These actually uh, come with two dots on them, you see. As long as the two dots are central... To that then uh, they are quite easy to put in okay uh, fit the hydraulic arm piston which is uh, this thing here over the smaller diameter end which is this thing here and I think these two ends uh, go together you see they've got a sort of like a semicircular joint there they go in like that 
to make one whole unit. Um, they're both D-shaped, they'll only fit in one way, and this is going to fit this into the two small pins on the ends of the post on the back of six. Mm. So it's going to go this way around, and it wants me to put it in right there. So that's that bit in. Perfect. Uh, okay, the next bit, they want me to align the coupler, which is the last bit I've got left. Um, and it's going to be going over this uh, item here. Again, it can only go in one way by the look of it. So, I'm guessing... See, I didn't look at the instructions for this bit, so... How does it go in? That's the question. Uh, line the so okay, if the flats are the end, showing the main picture. When the parts are pressed together as shown in, so it should be raised at an angle. Oh, so it's going to go in at an angle. Wow, that's interesting. So, basically, this... I'm guessing this will be glued in the end because that is how that goes there at an angle really weird all the parts it does say here are um push fit which makes it easy to test assemble them they will stay in place temporarily without fixings but if you turn the assembly over you can see the holes that will uh, be used later on when it's time to make the fixings permanent with glues or screw which is what that's all about here and which is the reason why this doesn't stay in place until we actually glue it um but that's what it wants me to do and believe it or not that is issue two so in the first issues we have basically created a leg and uh, we've created the first eyepiece let's wait till uh, issue three well there you go there's parts one and two completed uh when these magazines come in and i have more of an idea of this this uh, whole series is going ahead i think i'll do these as a live build uh anyway but uh, I do hope you enjoyed uh, that, rather than me speed it all up. But uh, let me know in the comments what you think about that, if you uh, would rather me just cut the crap and uh, film me going at hyper speed. But uh, anyway, hope you like this video. Take care. Hi, I hope you like that video. If you do like this video, please check out all the other videos that I've got in this channel. Here's a selection of some right now. Also, if you haven't done so already, please remember to subscribe. And if you want to contact me, I'm always available on my Twitter link here. Take care.